Are you ready to start taking appointments with JotForm? Let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and create a new form from scratch. So I'm gonna head up into the top left-hand corner. We're going to create a form, and I am always a fan of starting from scratch on the classic form. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this top section and let's drag in some elements for this form. Let's do a full name, email, and then we can go ahead and choose this appointment type that comes within the basic form elements. Now, the key here is to make this fit exactly what you need it to do. So I'm going to click on the properties that gear on the right hand side, and you can see that properties panel opened up on the right hand side. So first up, we can choose the appointment slot duration. So how long do you want these appointments to last? We can choose any of these time frames, and we can even choose the custom. So like I mentioned, 20 minutes, we can choose a 20 minute time frame. Perfect. Next, we get to choose what this interval looks like. What times of day do we want to work in? And also, do we want this to be on specific days? Maybe all week, maybe just the weekends. We can even choose very specific days. So let's say on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to do nine to five. And we can also add another interval. Maybe we just want to do, you know, nine to noon on Tuesdays and Thursdays, perfect. And we can also add in that lunchtime hour as well. And what does that lunchtime look like? Let's do 11 to 12, perfect. Next up, I'm gonna head back up to the top. Let's jump to the next tab, which is going to be limits. If we want to choose a specific start date and end time, we can do that. We can also do rolling days and we can enter in vacation and holidays. And we can also add maximum appointments per day. This is one of my favorites. Maybe I only want to do two per day. And then we also have a minimum scheduling notice. This is how many hours. So if you want a 24 hour notice, this is your way to do that right here. So Let's head back up to the top. Next is advanced. Now, this is one of my favorite things. I always love getting a reminder email to remind me, hey, you have a call coming up. And with JotForm, you can do that. Under advanced, we have right here, send reminder emails. Now we get to choose that time. How far in advance would you like for this to send? Right here, it is two hours. Let's go ahead and drop that down to one hour. And then we can also add another and another, you get to add as many reminder emails as you want. So depending on how far out they book or how far out you allow them to book, you can choose what this looks like. Let's go and get rid of these. Now we can customize what these emails look like. And here is your friendly reminder that your appointment is coming up. And we can also send a test email and we can allow our users to reschedule or cancel that appointment from these reminder emails, which is perfect. But as we scroll down, we can see we have other things that we can do to make this fit more our style. And one thing to check is make sure that your default time zone is correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump up here and change this to the correct time zone. Perfect. Now we are good to go. But it's as simple as that. If you have any other questions about utilizing JotForm as your appointment scheduler, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. We'll see you next time.